up near to the uh, Williams station and all the other stations we have the Porsche Cup going on right now as you can hear it is all going off I'm here with Mitch from Supercar Pool who's kindly invited me down uh, to help him film some content for his events which are absolutely unreal as you've seen by the montage that I put in before this but Mitch how are we feeling about the weekend I feel excited, but I'm a bit tired uh, because of the travelling we did uh, this morning. 22 hours I in one go this guy Amsterdam drove. I Amsterdam at 10 and uh, we arrived at 8 and had breakfast at the Merida at 8.30. <laughs> and uh, I actually was driving by myself because he was asleep. <laughs> yeah, I was asleep the whole way. So I'm sorry about that, but Mitch no, literally no. drove like a whole day uh, and picked me up from Leon Airport and then we did 5 hours or 6 hours to Monaco. We've had no sleep. And here we are. Can we see some of the Porsche Cup cars driving over there? They are so loud! They sound insane! This is an experience. Okay, we are right next to the track on the boat and listen to these Porsche Cup cars go past now. I think it's uh, it's okay because I'm not having any champagne. <laughs> Absolutely unbelievable. We are heading out of the port now from what has been one of the craziest experiences I've ever had and uh, we're going to take the boat back round and I think we're going to watch practice next from an amazing vantage point. So I will catch up with you in a little bit. overlooking the track let's go outside because this is incredible so here we are then outside I'll just sort out my exposure right on the track watching it go over we have the Ferrari fans the Charles Leclerc and Charles signs over there the cars going around the harbour and the beautiful harbour the cars are so loud I hope you can hear anything that I'm saying right now. Mitch, how are we doing? I'm doing fine. Do you like the spot? It's insane! It's the second one I'm taking you to. Let's, let's get a top three. So I think this is number one right now. This is... This has to be better than the harbour. Very slow, insane. <laughs> 
spending the day off on top of a boat in the harbour in Monaco, which I can't believe, again. This day has been a blur. But look at the boats behind me. Let's just take a second to appreciate FB2 is done, as you've just seen. This has only been day one, and we've already done so, so much. It's absolutely incredible. I will, of course, share the link to this trip for next year. If you want to join, it has just been unreal. Like, I feel like I could go home now, and that would be done. Anyway, let's take a look at the boats in the harbour before we sign off for day one. Okay, then. There is up to the train station and uh, kind of along the bank. Here are some of the bigger boats that line up along the racetrack. We have the TV up there. Can you see that? Yeah. That we were watching from earlier, actually, a little bit. And then again, there's just parties going on all over the harbour. And there are some monster boats over this way. Absolutely <laughs> enormous. When walking past them, they just look like castles. They keep on going up and up. Absolutely incredible. And we are here on top of this Wally. And uh, yeah, the boat's called a Wally. And it's absolutely fantastic. What an end to the first day. <laughs> It is day two and we are starting in the afternoon. We have just had an amazing lunch, which I'm putting some clips over now. It's been absolutely fantastic with the rest of the guests. We are at Port Cap Dai. We are just about to get our taxi transfer over to watch qualifying for the Formula One. I can't even believe what happened on day one. So let's see what happens on day two. All Dutch yachting that we were with yesterday, the owner, Alex over there, how are we doing? <laughs> I'm good, and he has a Defender, Defender Fan Club, and uh, it's definitely a well-used Defender, which is what we like to see in this uh, lime green, no roof, you don't need a roof down here, and on the back, Jesus loves you, but everybody else thinks you're an asshole. We are watching from inside this apartment in, um, in Monaco. I just want to show you a little bit of the interior because it's absolutely beautiful in here. We're just watching on the screen so we can see what's going on. And then if we go through this door, if I adjust my... Adjust my thing. And then we have the track. Just down here. Okay, it looks like... Leclerc's going to be on pole for the home race. One minute 20 left though, all to play for. Let's see what happens. There's been a crash on the track. Somewhere. We have everybody cheering for Charles, home Grand Prix. He is on pole. What is going to happen in the race tomorrow? What an atmosphere. There are people watching from all over. So we have all these people up here. And then we have everybody in all these balconies, balconies. Obviously then we have the grandstands. We have some more private roof terraces here. We have, and then on the far side, I don't know whether you can see that, but we have all the people on the hill up there. And then of course, everybody in the boats out here as well. So Monaco is absolutely buzzing. So in the midst of all that madness, I thought I'd just come inside to uh, recap what just happened. So uh, yeah, so we're viewing the, the qualifying from this amazing um, someone's apartment and we'll be here tomorrow as well for the race and uh, Charles Leclerc got pole uh, everybody was going absolutely mad in the grandstand the boats were um, 
beeping their horns, everything, and I can't wait for that after the race tomorrow. But yeah, really exciting qualifying and really cool watching it like, on the TV and in person as well. So it's good to have the TV so you can kind of understand like actually where everyone is and then you can just see the cars, like and hear the cars like racing in person. What an amazing experience. And as I mentioned yesterday, this whole event is with Supercar Pool uh, and Michefontaine that's organized it. And uh, you could literally be here next year because we're gonna be doing the event again. So everything you experienced before this bit and after this bit, you can experience in person next year. So don't hesitate to give me a contact or Mitch or Supercar Pool because you could be here next year and what an event this has already been and there's so much more to come. It is day three, race day, and we are starting off our day in our villa in Cannes where we are staying. Uh, it's absolutely a, a beautiful villa. Uh, you know, it's very traditional, I would say, which I kind of like uh, with these old stone steps and uh, beautiful vines. And we're gonna go around it in a little bit. But yeah, so excited for the race today. We're gonna be watching it at the same place that we were yesterday, as I said, and uh, yeah, another fantastic day. And fingers crossed, we are getting a helicopter from Cannes to Monaco, and uh, it will be my second time in a helicopter, so incredibly excited for that as well. So let's get the day started. Okay, the driveway coming up with, as I said, this beautiful, lovely stone, and then we have the steps coming up here to the villa, and I think I see a little lizard. There's lizards all around the, uh, the property. There he is. Can you see that? There he is, little guy, running down. Anyway, yeah, so it's covered in these lovely plants, which I really like. And then kind of this uh, corridor down. I'm gonna be adjusting the exposure as we go to see uh, what works, but um, yeah. And that goes into the, the villa, but firstly, let's go outside. So it has these steps to go all the way up the back. So let's uh, go up here now. It's very secluded, which again I think is nice. You hear the bird song. And you also hear my music, which I'm gonna to need to turn off in a second. Walking up the final steps, you have this great outdoor kitchen here with lovely little speaker set up, barbecue. Actually has a hob over there as well. Barbecue's here. Leopard print, surfboard, yeah, nice little vibe. And then over here we have the pool. And everybody else, how are we doing? Is everybody happy this morning? <laughs> day three, by the pool, it's race day. Time has come, we are off on our way to the heliport. So I will catch up with you there. just started to rain. I put a poll on my Instagram, will it rain? Everybody said yes. And it has literally just started to rain. And all the people in the grandstands, I do feel sorry for, they are ten putting their, it's, it's 10 minutes before the race and it's just started to rain. Everybody's putting their rain gear on. Have a look, see if you can see. So we have everybody 
down here. Look, I don't know if you can see everyone putting their rain gear on. I hope it can pick it up. But, oh, this is gonna make it an exciting race. It's just started raining. Again, after the delay. It's gonna get even more interesting this race, isn't it? Monday, the weekend is over, and what a weekend it has been. We're just wrapping up. Uh, me and Mitchell, we're getting some photographs and some B-roll while we're walking around Monaco on the last day, because of course, when we're watching the race and the qualifying, we're still in the same spot. So we're just trying to get some like other shots uh, just before I head to the airport. But I mean, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, jam-packed. Um, I, I, I can't even think for the words of how good it's been this weekend. Uh, it really has been sensational. So thank you to Mitch, thank you to Supercar Pool for organizing the event. Thank you for having me down to film. I hope this vlog has conveyed the fun that we have had this weekend. But yeah, it's just been exceptional. And uh, I hope I will see some of you on this trip next year. Thank you, have a fantastic week, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.